Look at that. We're back. Look at that. Yeah. Back. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um. Sweet. So we'll just jump right in. I feel like we'll have mm-hmm. a lot to discuss for this one. So um, I want to give a little bit of like an overview of mm-hmm. what people can expect to see at events this year. Okay. What that's going to look like for us. And uh, specifically, um, since this one will be timely, next week is the Sun and Fun Air Show. So mm-hmm. talking about the units that we prepped for that and yeah, what kind of stuff uh, people are going to get to see from us. Okay. Yeah. Uh... 2024 calendar year is already crazy. It's also off to a wild start. Uh, so to say the least, to say the least. <laughs> um, at at Sun and Fun, it's, it's now. I mean, it's it's going on now. Um, it so we're going to have commercial builds, which whenever the newer version releases, which it has, it's the Move Cargo. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what the commercial build is. Uh, but like we're sitting in what was kind of what we'd consider like the commercial prototype, which evolved the commercial and the move all into one and all together. Uh, but what's really cool about sun and fun is, is that we are the media sponsor. Is that right? Official media, sponsor. official media sponsor, which means they are going to be utilizing because it's a, the event is like 300,000 attendees, I think, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and it's so, a week long. It's a week long. So the vans that they're actually using for their media vans to go around, get content, and then do everything they need to do mm-hmm. is actually our commercial builds. They'll be set up with screens, uh, power system, coolers. Um, so they're going to be set up really cool um, and actually be in use. Like, they're actually being used for the show. Yeah. And in partnership with them, we also are going to have uh, one of our big show vans, which is a Do EL there. Uh, very cool, very exciting. It's fun. That that thing is awesome. Um, yep. and, and it's the one that's for sale, uh, yep. I believe. So uh, so we'll have it for sale. And, you know, second to second to it, we will also have one of our command units, but c- shouldn't call it a command. It's a commercial build. It's a commercial mobile office for whatever you want it to be. Yep. Um, a rep van with a bed. It does have a bed in it, and it's actually going to be in the booth with the camper van and so that event's a little bit uh more than we typically do um i guess is the best way to put it uh there's a lot more going on than normal um which is great it's fine um but it's it'll be four vans total there uh so we'll have two being used actually on site on scene actually used for things for weather air control i mean you name it it's it's pretty cool what they do use them for um i mean they're real life uh, then we'll have the two demos as well. Uh, but that's that's a little bit of a interesting event for us. Uh, but right after that, we start rolling into like the Overlands. And so last season, we did have one of our commercial units at all the Overland shows. Mm-hmm. We do plan to do that again this year. Uh, and the goal always is, especially at our bigger events, and when I say bigger, I would really, I mean, I would really nail that down to the Overlands. I mean, yeah. we're, we're at all of them. Um, it's a one show that's, I guess, a multiple series that we, it, it hits us nationwide. We go yeah. from the East Coast to the West Coast. Um, we do some others. We do a lot of other type events. But that's, if, if someone wanted to look them and say, hey, I want to see a van do it. Where can I see it and when? Yeah. The Overlands are the, uh, is the really big hitter. Yeah. And um, we've gone, how, like, every year for the past four or five? Four or five. I mean, I think... I don't know. Obviously, you kind of have to skip around COVID, but I don't know if we've skipped an Overland show minus COVID um, because it used to just be Overland East, and then there was West, Mountain West, so Mm -hmm. they started adding in. Um, I don't think we went to the Northwest one year uh, when they first – I think when they first launched, I don't think we went, if I remember right. Um, But other than that, we attend all of the Overlands. Um, They're really big, really great shows for us. Obviously, the attendees are are what we what we are as well. Um, And at those bigger shows, it's always important. What we always try Mm -hmm. to do is we always try to hit the whole portfolio of what we do. Mm -hmm. So anywhere from live, do, now the move and then commercial, we try to hit it all Um, between vans that are in booth. And then vans that are also like in the parking lot, camping spots, Mm -hmm. things like that. Um, This photo was taken on the way out to Overland East, Mm -hmm. right? 
So uh, it's our move model in the front, and then actually trailing behind it is a transit trail. Uh, is one of the first ones that hit the road, and we took it actually and put it in our booth at Overland East, so people could see, compare, contrast, and all those things. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do that, and also conjunction just with our partnership with Ford and everything we do. I mean, we try to do as much as we can together. Um, yep. And so we we took the trail out there, uh, and we kept it as a blank canvas just so people could see what they were getting. Yep. And then and then not just that, but see what they can buy from Ford, and then what we can turn it into. Yeah. Um, and that's the cool part, you know. And so, like, this guy up here has Baja on it and a luminous Baja front bumper. Um, but that's, like, the other part, too, is is our show vans are big. I mean, we build them out. Mm-hmm. They are very nice. And it's been an argument forever between myself, the sales team, um, people who attend. Uh, you'll We'll go to an event and we'll say, hey... You know, we have our we have builds that are in the 150s and 170s and 180s in our booth. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to put that hundred thousand dollar build in our booth because we can do it. Yeah. And we're always hit with we really need to show a budget friendly. Mm -hmm. And every time we've done it, and we've only done it once or twice, but every time we've done it, it's always people are always saying, "Hey, what else can I add?" So it's tough to, you know, if if anyone's watching that, you know, wants to see us. It just know that when you see us at trade shows, you're looking at the most built out mm-hmm. because it's easier to show you fully built yeah, and take away for, for one of our, cause we typically always staff with at least one, if not two salespeople. Mm-hmm. And then the rest are ambassadors, um, employees, um, marketing team like yourself. Yeah. Uh, I attend some of the big shows, try to anyway. Yeah. Um, and Jared likes to go incognito mode when he goes I d- to I don't, shows. Yeah, <laughs> you I, would never know. <laughs> I say, I don't know. I will say this on record. Uh, oh I think at Overland West, <clears throat> went Mountain West, I think Nick or Ian would have to confirm this, but I'm not sure if the whole time I was there, I don't know if I ever wore anything Van Do It. I don't think you did. I know Ian didn't, for sure. Yeah, no. I don't think Nick did, and I'm not completely sure if I did. Yeah, no, I think you guys were all, like, secret agents. Yeah, well, (laughs) and a lot of it has nothing to do with that. It actually has to do with, I actually want to go to our booth, Mm -hmm. our booth, and stand there and listen to the potential clients. Yeah. Um, Not just be swarmed, kind of like our people who are working the booth. Just so I can get... I go to get an understanding of the market. I go to get an understanding of like who's interested. Yeah. Partnerships. Um, I think when I went to Mountain Mountain West, I think I met with, gosh, I don't know, five or six vendors, maybe even more. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's a business trip. Um, but I'm there to see certain people, but I'm also there to observe. You know, that's the biggest thing. And it is cool to go around and just see what, not so much what other van companies are doing. I really care about what, truck companies are doing i really care about what expeditions are doing i care about what tent campers are doing like Mm -hmm. i care about it's crazy to think but i actually care less about what the van market's doing and i care more about what the others are on the higher end you know Mm -hmm. so if you think about it camper vans are in the middle and you can go upwards and you can go into big class a's rv style and or expedition trucks you know you can get north of a million a million dollars but then you can also go down the other way. You can go Tacoma build with a rooftop tent. You know, you can do a Sequoia, which I love those, by the way. <laughs> um, you know, you can go that route. Uh, or you can just go all the way down to simple tent camping, you know. And there's these massive ranges to the two sides. I really love seeing what those two industries are doing. Yeah. Because the more that we can go down into that lower kind of tier and also kind of branch into that upper tier, but still hold that middle ground, the better off we'll be. Yeah. Um, because you know, the tent guys have to be real clever with how they do things. Mm-hmm. Expedition trucks and big class A's, they have a lot more luxury to them. So it's like, how do you interweave these into the box of a van? Yeah. And you usually don't, you don't get that from another van builder. You get that yeah. from what are people gravitating towards? And yeah. so, um, You know, and that's what's really cool about trade shows for us is pretty much if you go specifically to the Overland shows with our modularity, with our versatility, everything we do, you're you're going to pretty much see it all. Um, You got to have a level of imagination 
Uh, we've done a much better job about like doing videos on screens and trying to help people mm-hmm. get an understanding of what we are and what we do. Yeah. Even um, having the modules outside of the van yeah. last season made a huge difference. And we had some like material samples too of like, you know, this kind of paneling when yep. we came out with it and all that stuff. That really makes a big difference when people can like touch it and see it and feel it. And then they understand that the drawers don't have to be there. You right. Know, that they're out on a table like do you sell these separately? That's always a question. No, we do not. But then it brings up the conversation of like, you know, you can move these around and that's like the perk of mm-hmm. having one of our vans. So yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff really helps too. Yeah. And so it's, yeah. So it really starts to come full circle is probably the best way to put it is when we go to big shows, you're going to get the full portfolio now, especially in the Midwest area. And, and we are really starting to utilize our ambassadors for trade shows. We have people going to start representing us out in the Salt Lake area. We already have people in the Colorado area, Michigan, um, go on further east. I mean, we're up, you know, up and then um, I guess it'd be like the northeast. Uh, and I mean, even Alaska, you know, we have people kind of all over Texas. Um, we have a ton of ambassadors and a lot of them are starting to attend smaller events and in some cases bigger events as well. For us to expand that reach, um, you're not going to see as much versatility there, but you're going to still see the core of what we do. Um, and that's what's, again, what's really cool about the way we build is it allows you to really expand your brain, expand your palate once you see it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, hey, this can go over here. And it's just, it's it's amazing. And so that's why we so heavily promote that if you're interested in our product, interested in what we do, Find a way to see one. Um, reach out to us. We'll do a tour. Um, we have, imba- like I said, we have bachelors over that are absolutely willing uh, and do like help assist with showing their vans. Uh, it's a benefit to them. To just be yeah. very honest about it. It's a, it's a benefit to ambassadors. Yeah. Um, they get a van showing fee. Um, and the reason for that is because we know that people seeing them only helps. Yeah. Um, we also give incentives for tours because we want you to come here. Um, yeah. But if you see us on our calendar and you're like, hey, I, I can't get in that show, but I want to see what you guys do, reach out to us. Yeah. Um, I think for Sun and Fun, I think you actually Kaylee Teamy, our national sales manager, sales director, whatever our titles are, <laughs> director, manager, the same thing. Um, <laughs> you know, for her, I think she even texted you last night and said, hey, we have people coming to Sun and Fun. How do we get them in? Yeah. Which is uh, that's in Florida. Which Lakeland, I guess, yeah. yeah, I guess when this airs, um, it'll be going on at the same time. But Lakeland, um, we can get you in. Basically, yeah. that's that's the whole reason we're there. Yeah, and that pretty so, much goes for every event. If yep. you're interested, you're going to be in the area. Even sometimes, like on the way there or on the mm-hmm. way back, you know, our reps can stop somewhere. Like we can schedule something like yep. that, you know, and you can see the van that way. Yep, yep. Basically, bottom line is is never be scared to reach out to see where you can find one or see one. Uh, we're at a ton of small events. Um, mm-hmm. Shane is going to, uh, or I guess will will have gone to the uh, Chattanooga Outdoor Festival in Chattanooga, Chattanooga Outdoor, Tennessee. Also known as the Choo Choo, the Choo Choo Gardens is where the, the event is. Yeah, so I love the name. Yep. So I mean, you can find us everywhere. Plus, I mean, a ton of our owners use these vans for like their own small businesses. So we're probably at those places to begin with in actual use. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, our, I mean, I don't know if you have any other questions, but I mean, trade shows, our big trade shows, we try to hit the whole portfolio so you can really see what we do. Yeah. Um, we're staffed with people who are knowledgeable and can, you know, help answer questions, get you to the right people. Um, I guess one thing I didn't really touch on is the commercial side. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've really started stepping into, you know, going to, they're not really trade shows on that side. They're more demo and events. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just had an amazing one at a drone training, I think is what it was, uh, yeah. out in, where was that? The UAW or whatever. UAS Drone Responders. Um, yep. It was in Virginia. Yeah. But so, town. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say Virginia. Moving uh, on to the next yeah. one at this point. Specifics are out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, but that was one where it was more of a demo. Mm-hmm. So, um, you just basically, I guess the best way to say it is, is if you're interested, we're probably near you, yeah. um, in some facet of the word. So if not book a flight, cause we'll give you a credit, uh, if you buy from us. So get out here, come see me, I'll shake your hand. Yeah. 
So that's that's the real perk is you get to hang out with Jared when you come. <laughs> I'm I'm really happy to see that you <laughs> see that as a perk. It is. It's great. Good. I mean, I think pretty much everybody watching this would. That's why mm. they watch it. Is for you. You know, I'm just like a facilitator. Oh, you're gonna here. make me blush. <laughs> Stop I'm it. I'm just a facilitator. I. That's yeah. about it. Mm. Well, I think you. I think you touched on pretty much all of it. So, like, you were ready for that one. You were like, bam, bam, bam. I'm awake. Nice stuff. Got it. Nailed it. But also, we're prepping for a lot of events right at this very moment. So yes. I feel like that's all our brains are focused that's on. All, is, yeah. We're, is uh, that. We um, got that Vox and everything. Yeah, else. actually, that would be a good one. The last mm-hmm. one to throw out um, is Vox to talk mm-hmm. about Vox. That that is an opportunity for people mm-hmm. to come as well. So if you are mm-hmm. in the Bentonville, Northwest Arkansas mm-hmm. area. Um, you know, it'll be probably a little bit less formal and that'll be more just like hanging out mm-hmm. with our other owners and stuff. But that is also available. Um, and Jared will be there if that mm-hmm. is, you know, if you want to hang out with him rather than see the vans, uh, it'll be a two for one and you'll get to see him. It's a two for <laughs> two for and see the vans. Yeah. So and the really cool part about that, too, um, one of the the main things is like seeing the vans in action, like the mm-hmm. commercial unit specifically, is that we will have a couple that will be powering mostly everything that mm-hmm. we do down there. So. Um, if that's an interest, it'll probably be the vans that Austin and I are staying in. So <laughs> quite possibly you'll get to say hey to us and see what we're powering. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, the Bentonville Vox, but then just Voxes across everywhere. Yeah. Kurt actually texted me this morning, uh, Kurt Schuler, and he's one of the OGs who started Vox mm-hmm. to begin with. You can watch that episode, uh, how it all, uh, how it all started. But, um, he texted me and basically said, you, you you basically are required this year to come to Moab. Oh, great. he's like you don't have a choice, and I'm like, <laughs> I have a fourth baby on the way. He's like, didn't know that. Got it. Okay, uh, congrats. Can you still come? Uh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, doesn't matter. You're still coming. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, when we were in Moab, we're in Michigan. I think they're doing two, if not three. One was Pennsylvania. Yeah, two they just others. keep adding them. Yeah. So and, and they're and they're they're they're. they're their hangouts, their their group meetups. Yeah. Um, the big one, I guess I would say there's really two big ones. Um, maybe a third. You have Moab, Bentonville's the one we really partake in. Our whole crew goes down. Mm-hmm. I think we have 14 vans just from employees going yeah. down to hang out. Yeah. Um, that's the big one. Um, but Moab and Michigan are both pretty good size. Yeah. And so um, and growing and growing. So yep. So come join us. Bring a van next year. A van do it. And so, yeah, we've actually, we've had people do that. Shout out to uh, Becca and Tyler Christensen. They came mm-hmm. out and tent camped. And then the next year they had their van at the same time. They actually picked it up the day that I think it was the Friday that everybody was down there. So they didn't really? get to go the first time, but yeah, they were mm-hmm. like, at least we have a van this time. There you go. <laughs> so, okay. That could be you. Could be. It will be. Harris's. <laughs> Neil. Oh my gosh. That's Buffalo. why you want to go. You just want to like bully some of our <laughs> favorite I'm owners. Not bully. <laughs> bully they, lovingly. <laughs> I want them to know that I appreciate them by giving them crap. Yeah. And then they're required to give it back. If they don't give it back, it's weird. So <laughs> don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. awesome. Oh. Jinx. Oh no. <laughs> you owe me a coffee. Maybe, We've spent maybe too a much Starbucks. time together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you guys.